In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a user form with dependent combo boxes and how to transfer values from combo boxes to Excel sheet. So let me show you. I have this Excel sheet where I have one command button. Once I click this command button, it will show me a user form. So this user form has two combo boxes and two command buttons. Once I select one value from first combo box then second combo box will show only relevant values as per selection in first combo box so here in first combo box we can see options as country color and animals if i select country then second combo box will show values as country names india australia and if i select color in first combo box then second combo box will change the values and show values only for color red green yellow and blue and same if i select third option then here as per selection in first combo box it will show lion tiger rhinoceros and camel so second combo box is dependent on selection of first combo box once i select values from both combo boxes i can click on this command button transfer data to sheet then this will transfer these two values on excel sheet we can see here in cell a1 and b1 we have values from both combo boxes on the second command button if i click then it will close user form so let me click on this exit button we can click again on the command button and see the user form this kind of user form development could be part of automation and very useful for learning user form programming so let's see how we can develop this step by step first of all i'll open a new excel file and on this first sheet I'll go to developer tab. I'll click on insert and then from ActiveX controls, I'll select command button and drag a small command button here. We can right click and select the properties to change the caption of this command button. So let me give caption as show user form. Now second step is I want to go to a VBA developer window or VBA editor window I would say. Once I double click this command button it will take me to VBA editor window or we can press one command that is alt and F11. So this is VBA editor window. Next step is on this workbook I will right click and select insert and add a user form on this user form we will drag two combo boxes and then two command buttons on this user form on these two command buttons also we can change the caption so i'll right click on the first command button select the properties and i can give name as transfer values and then for second command button i'll give name as exit then next step is i'll double click on this user form and then I will select from this first drop down as user form and let me show you the right hand side part. This is showing as click event but I will select as initialize and I delete these two lines. So what I am doing is I will write code on the user form initialize event so here i'll write some code for first combo box so i'll write code as 
square combo box 1 then dot add item space what I want to show is country then dot add item space color and dot add item space animals and then we need to close with a statement with and with so when user form will initialize first combo box will show or I have added three items into it now what is the next step so the next step is from the first drop down I'll select combo box 1 and event which is by default selected is change so I will write some VBA code here for adding values into second box or second combo box but when there is a change in first combo box so be careful like we have to select combo box 1 and event should be change so let me write the VBA code so first line of VBA code I'll declare a variable dim index as integer and then index equal to combo box 1 dot list index now I'll use some VB code for kind of case selection so before adding values if there is existing value so I'll try to clear those existing values in combo box 2 combo box 2 dot clear and then select case index case is 0 that means for first item in first combo box we need to give here case is equal to 0 this is the right syntax with combo box 2 and then again dot add item for first combo box we have to add country's name so I can write India dot add item so this is just for testing so let me add only two or three items add item equal to Canada and then and with so next VBA code that I'll write is for second item of first combo box so for that I will copy this VBA code if you want you can write here case is equal to 1 instead of 0 so for second item I need to add name of colors so I'll add red and then I can add green or any color that you want yellow for third selection or third item of first combo box I'll copy this code paste it here and here case is equal to 2 2 means third item of first combo box here I need to give names of animals so I can give lion tiger and third let me give camel and this is and a statement for with for third case or case is equal to 0 and then between and with 
and ends up I'll write here and select so what we have done so far we have written addition of item on the user form initialization and then on the change of first combo box how we can add items to or I would say relevant items to second combo box now what is the next step next step is I'll select the first command button that is command button 1 from first drop down and I want to transfer selection or values from both combo boxes to sheet 1 in cell a1 and cell b1 so I'll write here range a1 dot value equal to combo box 1 dot value or here I can give worksheets to be very specific sheet 1 that is the sheet name dot range so now this is robust VBA code I will copy this paste it here here instead of a1 I will give b1 and here combo box 2 dot value now the last step or the last VBA programming that I'll do is for command button 2. Here it is very simple. I'll write unload user form 1. So this user form 1 is name that is given by VBA. We can go from left hand side double click. I'll double click on this user form. So if I right click on user form and select properties, we can see the default name. It is user form 1. If we select combo box, then first combo box will show combo box 1. Second will show combo box 2. So these names we can use while doing the programming. So let's test if it is working perfectly. I'll go to this Excel sheet here I click on design mode when I click on design mode then it will take me out of designing mode now I can click on this show user form button okay so we have not done any programming on this command button so again I will go to design mode double click on this command button and here we need to give VBA code as show user form 1. So now this will show user form. Now I'll click on design mode and if I click on this command button, okay, there is some error. So we need to write user form 1 dot show and then I'll click on this rectangle button over here that will reset my code and now I can minimize this VBA editor window and here when I click on this show user form then I can see this user form we can select the any option from first combo box and second combo box will show relevant values and when I click on this transfer values button it will transfer values to sheet 1 and I can click on this exit button to come out of this user form or close this user form this was just for practice how we can develop this step by step let me close this file and show you the VBA code for original file let me click on this user form 1 and on this user form 1 I'll double click and this is the VBA code. First VBA code is for user form initialization and then VBA code is for change of first combo box
and then VB code for first command button and finally command button to code or VB code for exit. Let me minimize this VB editor window and one line I have written on the back end of this command button that we have on sheet one. This will show user form and that code is just user form one dot show. So thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel for more learning tutorials of Excel VBA and VBA development and reports automation. Thank you.